An England Test debut has been a long time coming for Dom Sibley, and yet his timing could hardly have been more opportune. The string of unsuccessful England opening batsmen may stretch back a long way to the retirements of Andrew Strauss and Sir Alistair Cook, but the change of tack from gung ho head coach Trevor Bayliss to the old school Chris Silver would suit Sibley down to the ground. Stepping aside, for now at least, is the attacking white ball specialist Jason Roy and stepping into the void at the top of England's batting order for the first test against New Zealand in Mount Monganui, which starts on Wednesday night UK time, is the more circumspect Sibley. Read more, Sibley and Crawley look perfect fits for Silverwood, says Tremlett a first class strike rate of 41.87, nearly half that of his predecessor Roy, doesn't tell the whole story, but it does help to explain the 24-year-old's biggest selling point and why he fits the silverwood mould. Batting a long time after a prolonged period of instability, of being forced onto the back foot early on and of nullifying the middle order threat by exposing them to the new ball too often, Silverwood wants to promote the method of batting for a long time. Enter Sibley, an opening batsman who scored 1,324 runs from 3,024 balls at an average of 69.68 for Warwickshire in the county championship this year. To put those numbers in context, no other batsman in Division 1 managed to consume more than 2,000 balls, batting for a long time as Sibley's modus operandi. It is not how you look, it is how many you get, Sibley told The Telegraph last week. For me it is just about trying to get through the new ball. If you can get past the new ball on the pitches we play on then it is about making it count and getting the big scores. It is more played upstairs than technically. Batting long periods of time is a strength of mine. There has been chat about that sort of stuff being what England want. Maybe it is good timing. Turning heads like many who eventually reach England test level, Sibley has been earmarked for success for some time. Matt Holmes, director of cricket at his local club Ashton Cricket Club in Surrey, told the cricketer recently that Sibley stood out at every age group. He was soon picked up by Surrey's academy, making his way from the under-9s all the way to the first team where, in 2013, he really turned heads. Aged 18, Sibley became the second youngest English player, behind the legendary W.G. Grace, to score a first-class double hundred, when he made 242 against Yorkshire. Like then Surrey teammates Roy and Rory Burns, and the likes of England footballer Callum Hudson and Oil and rugby players Danny Cipriani and Elliot Daly, Sibley came through Whitgift School in Croydon. Despite being seen as a future star at Surrey, in August 2017 Sibley made the brave decision to turn down a three year contract. For more on this story, visit the news article link.